Welcome back to using the tablet PC. This is part two. In part one, we went through the general features of the tablet PC. In this part, I'm going to show you how you can actually put the tablet to PC to a good use. So I'm logged into Blackboard, and now I am ready to go to the Grade Center. So I'm going to go to Control Panel. Because students have started to submit their papers to me that I need to review, and then once review, um, comment on, and send it back to them. So I'm going to go to the Grade Center. And for this one student, I am going to go over and find the um, paper assignment number one, which is under the paper assigned one column. Notice that it's an exclamation point. That means that I've got to do something with it. So I'm going to select this, and I want to see the grade details. If I scroll down, I notice that the student has submitted it already, and it needs grading. So I want to select View Attempt. And the file that's attached is the assignment one with the student's initials. So I want to click on that to select it. And I want to select Save. I'm going to save it to my desktop. So now I've saved the student's document to my desktop. And this can be not just one, but you can do this for however many students that you have. You can put them in a separate folder. So that one's downloaded. And I'm going to go, um, I'm just going to minimize. Notice that I'm using my, my pen. I'm going to minimize Blackboard. And now I am going to um, find the student's example. So now I'm going to double click with my pen to open it up. And now I am in Word. And once the student's paper comes up, notice that this is what the student submitted. So it's a couple of pages. Now, please understand this is not a real paper. Okay. This is just an, an example. So I'm ready now to go through and um, read through the student's information using the tablet in a very um, efficient way. So first thing I want to do is go up to Review. I am going to start the inking capability. It's already selected for felt tip. I can make it a ballpoint if I'd like, but I'm going to leave it felt tip. And I'm going to leave the color as red so that my comments stand out. So now I'm ready to get started in um, annotating what I find either good or that needs correction. So just using it as a pen, um, check numbering. Just scroll down using the pin to do this. And notice that I can circle. And not only can I circle, but I can use the highlighter to actually highlight different areas if I don't want to annotate or make a comment. When I'm ready to go back to my felt tip pin, select the pin again. And continue down. Maybe put in a good point. And now that I am done, um, revise, resubmit, good start. So now I've actually used personal handwriting to annotate my information to the students. So it gives me that presence. And it shows that I've taken the time not to just um, copy it or print it out and make a copy and then pass it back. And another good thing, I'm being green. I'm saving paper. So now that I've made my comments, I'm ready to save this and then put it back up into Blackboard. So I'm going to go File, Save As, because I want to give it another name. And I'm going to highlight the end. Now this time, instead of using the little keyboard that pops up when I hover my mouse, 
I'm actually going to go down to the menu bar down at the bottom, and I'm going to start the input panel from here. What that does is gives me a permanent locked-in um, keyboard that I can maintain. It doesn't float away or, or close. So I'm going to just use the shift key and make that R, E, B, I, S, E, D. So I've renamed it Assignment 1 Revised. Select Save. And that is now saved and ready to be uploaded back into Blackboard for the students. So I can, I'm going to close my keyboard. Close Word, and I've done the first paper, and if I had more, I'd keep Word up, continue on doing that, maybe putting them in a folder, and then once I'm all done, I've made all my comments, I back, basically just go back into Blackboard, upload them back to the student, and put in um, any uh, handwritten comments that I have. So that's using the tablet PC in a new way an efficient way, and that's the end of part two.